What's up guys, thanks for stopping by, and today I have a new product review, it's Meguiar's Interior Detail Cleaner, and I'm going to show you how to use it, this stuff, it's pretty awesome, I'm going to show you right here on the door panel, I'm going to show you it on some fabric, I'm going to show you, you can kind of use it on some fabric, and why you should keep this in your car at all times, let's get started. So basically the way I would put this on the towel, is I would... You can spray this on the towel like this, or you can spray it onto the panel like that. Either way, but if you spray it onto the towel, you're gonna get a, uh, a more controlled result. And that's gonna be a little bit better because spraying it everywhere, you might use more product than you need to. And the other part is, if you spray it onto the towel, you can be more accurate of where you're cleaning. So to keep that in mind too, when you go to clean, that you want accuracy too, because you don't wanna waste this product. Because for seven or eight bucks, that's not really, this isn't a, a very cheap product. Because, you know, you can get an all per, you can, for example, get Meguiar's All Purpose Cleaner Full Concentrate for probably around 20 bucks. And then you can dilute it from there. But you don't have a bottle and all that stuff, and you got to dilute it yourself. So, ease of use and stuff like that, that's why seven or eight bucks, that's why it's going to cost you that much. But, it works really well. So these actually might be a little too deep of scuff marks, but it smells great. It's easy to clean. And also the other good part about this is it dries really quickly. So you got to work very fast when you're applying this. So don't take too long, but none again, it's fast, it dries. I mean, everything you want pretty much. But again, like on like an all-purpose cleaner, this doesn't get a foam, so it's not gonna give you that cleaning action. And again, this is an all-purpose cleaner, so it's not gonna clean and cut as much. All right, another good example. See right down here on the seat, the door sill right here. I'm gonna get that all cleaned up using this cleaner right now. So again, you can spray it like this if you want to. This is just a little bit easier to do right now. Take my towel. Wipe off, very easy, this one's very good. Picks up the dirt, all right there. And again, see this, see that dirt spot right there? The leftover product, get that right there. Bam, it's gone. Look at that. So for light touch-ups, I mean, it's just very, very simple. But now let's try it on the actual dirt right here. So, I put a little bit more than you probably should, but look at that. Got, I want to say 75% of that out with just the first try. So that's pretty good. Sorry about this wind noise, but uh, it should be good. Let's try that one more time. And one of the, also the other things I recommend you do to your interior is this was scotch guarded a while back. I scotch guarded every piece of fabric on the interior and this right here this whole panel is all a, uh, a soft touch fabric so it's pretty much dry to the touch even though I put all that liquid into it which is pretty cool because uh, it doesn't let anything seep into it but I guess my brother's arm is a little bit dirty and uh, it gets in there but see this is an all-purpose cleaner I don't have any of my brushes with me so I don't have anything that can really get in there I might have to use a steam cleaner also, I'm looking at it, and I can tell that his arm is wearing right here on the fabric, because I guess he sets his arm there so much. So you just, but from here to here, I can't even see it. I don't even think the camera's gonna pick that up. So, I mean, there's a, a little bit of a hue still, a hue, hue, it's still right there, but you can't really see it. But this stuff, look at this. You got some dirt right here, getting you all right up in there. What I got left on the towel. Oh, that's the lights. And look, it's gone. So, something else I wanted to mention you can use. So this you can actually use right here on your LCD screen. See how I just sprayed it on there? Give it a quick wipe. Make sure you don't have a tag on your towel or anything. And don't use the edge of the towel on the screen, otherwise you'll scratch it. But, uh... Look at that, just wipe around, get all that stuff off, 
and I come back with a, another towel and dry it. And that is crystal clear. Nothing. So that's pretty amazing that you can use this stuff on an LCD screen. So you could use it on your dash, um, your cluster, basically. You can use it on anything on your interior. So not just that little touch-up stuff like out there on the door panel down there. You can also use it on your LCD screen. Um, that's pretty freaking awesome. Some last things I wanted to mention about this product was I just put this on the window of my car, the window of my brother's car, and it actually cleaned the window and didn't leave any streak marks. So that's pretty awesome for this stuff. That's one of the things I wanted to mention because it says you you can put it on an LCD screen, and I was hesitant to. I tried it. It worked. It didn't leave street marks or anything. So then I was like, wait, let's see if this works on the window. And it cleaned it off perfect. And I was like... Again, like, it took two towels, one to actually apply it, the other one to buff it off. But I was like, wait a second. I just put an interior cleaner up against the window, and it actually cleaned it. I mean, go try that with an all-purpose cleaner. It's not going to work. You're not going to get the same result. And go try that with a black magic or armor all that greasy stuff and try that, and it's, you know, it would be a mess. It's not going to work. So that was pretty cool that it worked there. But here's the thing. I don't think it's, it's definitely not meant to be on the window, and there's probably a reason why they don't say to use it on the window, and there's a reason why they tell you it's safe for the LCD screen. Um, there's probably a reason not to put that on your window, but I'm not sure what it is right now. Um, hopefully, <laughs> there's no ill effects to that, but hey, I'm going to test it for you guys so you don't have to, but so far it worked. I'm not saying go do it to your car, but... Um, if you spray it up against the window, I don't think you should have any issues, any spotting marks or anything like that. Just keep that in mind because I know a lot of people have tinted windows, and that's a big thing with a lot of cleaners. They can mess up the tint. Um, you know, if you, if you spray that armor all stuff and you get that grease all up in there, it's a pain. And an all-purpose cleaner can actually sometimes stain the tint. So um, degreaser too, so stuff like that. So this isn't very potent. That was one of the things I pointed out when, if I'm pretty sure I'm going to show you the door panel, um, the armrest. I use this on fabric and then, like you saw, it kind of sort of worked. Uh, didn't really cut, didn't really clean, but it got 75% of the dirt out. It did a good job. I'd say for something that I wasn't expecting to do any of that. You know, I'm thinking this stuff like it's black magic or armor all and it's just going to make my dashboard more shiny or something like that. But it didn't. It actually cleaned. Um, that's one of the things that I mentioned. It does not leave grease or film behind. Um, well, it leaves like a film behind, but it's not greasy. You can touch it. It's not going to feel all gross on your hands. So that's one of the big benefits. Also, unlike Black Magic, it smells the smell you can actually tolerate. And I like that. Unlike an all purpose cleaner, you can actually smell it. Degreaser, you're not going to choke on it. Because, like, a degreaser or all-purpose cleaner, that stuff, like, makes you want to gag. Like, you need a, a, a respirator on when you use that stuff. Ideally, you probably should. So, that was one of the benefits of this stuff, that it actually smelled good. You don't need a respirator. And you can you can use this on almost everything in the car, basically. From the window, not saying you should, the LCD screen. The LCD screen, you're 100% safe with. I mean, it says to on the back of the thing. So, I mean, that's pretty freaking cool. I would love to see another interior cleaner that you can use on the one on the LCD screen, on the window, on fabric, on you know, on leather. So that's pretty cool. But again, don't get this confused as an all-purpose cleaner. This shouldn't be the only thing you use and clean your interior with, unless you keep your interior spotless. Then this is great because if you're only the type of person that needs to touch up your interior, it's so probably the like, only interior product you need besides um, an actual dedicated window cleaner. Because this is going to cut just enough, but it's not going to be like an all-purpose cleaner. I would say it's 75% of an all-purpose cleaner. And to me, an all-purpose cleaner is like 50% of a degreaser, if that makes sense. That's how I think of cutting-wise. I feel like degreaser is going to cut the most. All-purpose cleaner, about 50% of a degreaser. And I'd say this is 75% of an all-purpose cleaner. So, what, 13.5% of a degreaser? So, it cleans... But it's not going to cut so much that um, it's going to, you have a chance of damaging stuff. So you're not going to get that. So this is 100% safe. Obviously, this is why it's a consumer-grade product. 
which is awesome. And for seven or eight dollars, everybody should have this interior. You spill a little bit of a soda, touch it up, bam, real fast. Um, dashboard's dusty, boom, touch it up real fast. And that's the cool part because I guess when I clean the window, if you get it up on the, you're cleaning your dash and you overspray onto the windshield, you're not gonna have an issue because it's gonna be super easy to clean off. It's not gonna spot the um, windshield and it's not gonna be a huge mess like Armor All is. So that stuff's pretty freaking cool. So go pick up yourself some of this McGuire's interior detail cleaner because you won't regret it. Um, thanks for watching this video. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do. Uh, give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Thanks.